Hello and welcome to the Snap Fitness Show. I'm Ben Kaysen here with Nicole Arguello from Snap Fitness. Nicole, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Great. Thank you so much for coming in. I'm excited about this. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about like what your role is with Snap? Um, so currently I am the assistant manager, so right below Francisco. Um, I kind of help him out on just really just running the gym because mm. no one else is there. Um, so we do a lot of day-to-day stuff, you know, people coming in, um, inquiring about the gym, the facility, its amenities, answering the phone, um, and then also, you know, taking those situations where they're like, I need to speak to a manager. Sure. Um, so also that, and then I train clients throughout the week, um, I'm a personal trainer also, um, and then part of what I do as a trainer is are fitness consultations. Mm. So I'll sit down with people and have like, you know, 45 minutes to an hour uh, consultations with them. So yeah, on a gist, that's kind of what I do. That's <laughs> awesome. How long have you been in that role? Um, let's see, right before COVID. Yeah. Oh, so you've been like thrown right into the fire with that role then. Yeah. Uh-huh. What's the, what's the change been like for the gym with COVID happening and everything like that? What's the adjustments been like? Um, people have to wear masks. So that's the biggest thing. And not a lot of people like to wear those when yeah. they're working out. So that's really the biggest challenge. Um, I guess another thing would be the amount of people that we can have in the facility and like how crowded it's been. Sure. So that usually changes things. But we've seen um, a lot of like a decrease in attendance. So it's usually the people who are um, more strict with their routine they're the ones who are coming and the ones who are more committed so i think like the people who are scared they're just not coming gotcha cool well hopefully they'll be coming back soon at some point because i think we're on the upswing of everything yeah i think we're aren't we like 50 percent now for like for capacity yeah Yeah. we're getting there yep (laughs) hopefully (laughs) things will go back to normal (laughs) absolutely yeah Uh, so what started you out at snap fitness what was that journey like Um, so I was a member before I started working there and there was an old manager that was working at the time and he's a family friend of mine. So I remember like he, I remember seeing the post for front desk and then I asked about it and I put in my resume in an application, didn't hear anything. Mm. And then Alex at the time, he was working at the front desk when they were hiring again because like some time had gone And then a position opened up again. And then Alex was like, well, what about Nicole? Wasn't she interested? And then Josh was like, oh, okay, yeah, let's let's do it. So that's kind of how I got my foot in the door. That's (laughs) awesome. Sweet. Yeah, I mean, what what was that like jumping into that role at Snap Fitness? Um, It was a really big transition for me. Like, you know, Matt talked about me being like super shy. Hmm. Um, So I definitely was. I was kind of very like in my shell at the time. Sure. Um, And, you know, being... Uh, front desk you're the first person that everyone sees so you know you should be someone who's you know full of energy very bubbly very smiling yeah. <laughs> so um, all of those things that I was not <laughs> at the mm. time um, so I definitely had to grow into that position um, but I definitely come a long way so. that's awesome congrats that's awesome yeah what was that <laughs> what was that adjustment like as as you kept going to try and be more out of your shell more bubbly in those positions um well I think Matt obviously noticed that because he was um kind of iffy like even in my interview so Mm. um at that point like he knew that I needed like more work with um like training and um well sales training and um just talking to people more because I was like you can hear like my voice shake and you know I would be like turning red so I just needed like a, a lot of help like just talking I guess <laughs> yeah that makes sense That's okay. um so I spent a lot of time with him just role-playing um and just getting better at uh just being in the situation like when you're trying to sell and then also like on the tour and stuff like that so a lot of practice that's awesome what was that role-playing like um it's interesting uh, <laughs> I don't know if you guys do it here but that's something that we do like a it's called um objection football so like when you're giving a tour and somebody says like, oh, I need to talk to my wife. So something that we do is like, okay, what can you say to like get back to the sale? Hmm. Because you can overcome that. So um, he would like, we'd get a ball, it's in a circle and just think of something, uh, an objection and throw it to the next person. So you'd had to like think on the fly <laughs> just in case somebody uh-huh. threw it to you. Um, so that was fun. He always made it like super fun and engaging with the rest of our team. Gotcha. So, so if I like threw the ball to him, I said, oh, it's too expensive. 
So if you said that, I would try to, <laughs> I would say something like, well, Ben, um, you mentioned that you go to Starbucks, you know, every day, that's $5 a day. Um, if you put that money in towards your gym membership, you know, you'd be close to, you know, the regular price for the gym membership. Sure. So how about we get you started? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. How about we See get you I started? Yeah, I love that. <laughs> you talk about it, you overcome it, and then you transition back to the sale. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so can you kind of talk to me about what is the difference between Snap Fitness and the other gyms here in Pueblo? What makes it stand out to you? Um, Honestly, just having Matt as an owner and a boss, mm. that was a really big thing. Like, he's super busy now, you know, with Wake Up and Snooze and everything. But sure. back when he was more at Snap, um, he just brought a lot of energy to the gym and members notice that. So I, it's funny, like they see him in the gym and they're like, Oh my God, hi, like he's a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> so I think like having him there is a really big piece of it. Like it's his gym, it's his, you know, name all, all over the gym. Um, and he's just a, you know, a special person. So yeah. I think just him is a really big difference. Um, all the red <laughs> is different than the other gyms. Mm. Um, let's see. And also us being like the largest of the snap, um, franchise. We're the largest snap fitness oh, wow. in and the world. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> How big is it in there? Honestly, I, I don't know the square footage. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like how, what, what's the inside look like? What kind of areas are there? Um, so as soon as you walk in, we have like the front desk area and, and the downstairs. That's the original side of the gym. Um, there's an upstairs area where there's some offices and some other equipment. Uh, there's two group fitness rooms. And then if you go to the other section of the gym, uh, there's a big area where the cardio section is another classroom. So it's pretty, um, it's big. Huge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two stories. So. Two stories. Yeah, I know. I've, I've definitely like, you know, driven by there and been in there and it's, it's a, it's a big place. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Yeah. So, um, what do you think? about like the word gym intimidation. I've heard that a lot when it comes to gyms. Um, how does snap help you overcome that? Um, I think just having the team that we have, like we're very particular on who joins the team. Like we recently had a new employee join and she's kind of like perfect as far as like what we're trying to, um, like the environment we're trying to bring. Yeah. Um, so I think that, like having the people at the front desk, that helps a lot because I feel like if you walk into a gym uh, and I've like felt the same thing, you know, it's, it's an unfamiliar place. You kind of don't know what to expect. You don't know if like their members are going to be friendly. Yeah. You don't know if their staff is going to be friendly. Cause I've definitely been in other gyms where like people don't greet you. They don't smile. They don't say hi. They don't ask like how your day was. So I think like those things are like what really comforts people, especially mm. being in a place where it can be very intimidating. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Can you talk to me a little about like the personal trainer side of it? So what's the benefit of having a personal trainer and doing that? Cause you do that for people as well, right? Yeah. Um, so it's definitely, um, a perk. Like I consider it like a privilege. Like if you have the extra money to pay for that kind of service, it's definitely very fun and rewarding, especially for me. Um, I feel like I, you know, make a connection with my tr uh, clients and that's, going to be the best because they get the best results. Sure. Um, and so, yeah, it's just fun to see them be more confident, like with themselves and their bodies and the different exercises that like maybe when they started, they weren't good at. And then over time they just got better and better, like the form got better and they just, you know, you can Figured just feel out. that. So that's really, um, special to be a part of. And then, um, it's a really big learning experience for them. So, if you're kind of like unsure of, because nobody really knows like how to do things right as far as, you know, movements and exercise, like in, unless you take like a class like biomechanics or sure. something like that. So, I mean, if you don't really know, if you're just going based off of like videos on YouTube, like that'll get you so far. But if you can like learn from the experience and that's what I try to teach my clients is new things and different variations of exercises. So if like something in the gym that they're planning to use, it's you know, taken by someone, okay, you've got this other option that you can use. Yeah. So try to teach them new things and just be that support system, that, you know, bubbly person again. Yeah. Because uh, I know sometimes like they've told me like, oh, I, did, I don't want to be here today. And I'm like, 
do you know how that makes me feel? <laughs> I'm like, gee, thanks. But then I, you know, just try to put yourself in them sho- or in their shoes and like, okay, no one really wants to work out except for like me. I enjoy it. <laughs> but um, a lot of people just don't. So for a lot of people, it's a chore. So for me, I'm like, okay, how can I make this like, you know, the best experience so that they get the best results and then, you know, I get my monies or, you know, I get. Behind. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You make it worth their, worth their while. Yeah. That makes total sense. Yeah. Can you talk to me a little about your, uh, fitness journey and how snap fitness has been involved in that um so yeah i I guess i haven't thought about that in a while Mm. because i was a member before so um yeah when i joined i was very dedicated on um seeing some of the results that i wanted to see in my personal fitness journey so um yeah i i didn't even realize honestly that snap has been there like kind of all along that's cool um I feel like for me, I just kind of didn't use my resources. Like I didn't even think to like, uh, like ask them like, Hey, do you guys offer anything? Or, you know what I mean? As far as like help. Um, so I, I wish that's something I would have done, you know, obviously transitioning into like being a trainer and then doing the fitness consultations. Like I would have loved to do that if I just started, you know, three years ago. So what does a fitness consultation look like? Um, so that can be, uh, kind of intimidating. Like when I bring it up, um, at the end of a tour or something, cause that's usually something I have to get a yes to. It's yeah. not like an automatic thing most of the time. Sure. So, um, I usually just tell them like, it sounds really scary. You get your first 3d body scan. So we get to go over that. So we get to know like of your current weight, how much of that is actually, um, fat muscle and how much accounts for bone. So of your current weight, so I weigh 125. A lot of people are like, oh, I weigh 125 and you lose like 15 pounds. Well, actually, no, you don't. Mm. <laughs> um, if we kind of uh, mess with the thing and move that down. So as we're moving it, the percentage lower, it's going to tell us, okay, you would need to lose. To drop 5%, you need to lose about six pounds of fat. So, Gotcha. Um, yeah. You get to know like where you are. Um you get to ask me any questions about fitness or nutrition. So just based off of my own personal experience, you know, I have a certification and then I'm also taking some classes for nutrition this semester. Mm. So as I'm learning that, I'm kind of like taking that information and like, okay, what can I tell these people? Cause the nutrition part, I'm not like a nutritionist. So sure. like there's some things that I can't, can't, can't say. Um, so I'm getting my degree in um, my major is psychology, and then my minor is um, exercise science and health promotion. So that um, exercise science and health promotion just kind of, again, talks about, like, how can you promote, like, um, health and wellness, to, you know, in your community, in your job, yeah. um, with your kids. Um, so, yeah, just learning, you know, how to make better choices as far as food goes, because that's really a big thing. Um, but, yeah, it definitely helps. I've taken some classes like exercise physiology, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, just to kind of help me understand the body more. So the more I can understand it, the more I can train people and it really just explain things better. Yeah. Where did your passion for that come from? Do you think? Honestly, I probably when I started working out, so just kind of got like really comfortable, um, in the gym and just seeing like my progress and mm. just kind of be like, whoa, like what's going on? You know, cause no one really thinks about like, okay, what is actually happening? Like in our sure. bodies, um, physiologically, like while you're working out, while you're losing weight, like how does the body lose weight? How does it gain muscle? So yeah, that that's kind awesome. of intrigued me. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. So that's not fitness. Can you talk to me about like when it comes to the atmosphere in there, what separates it from everywhere else that you've been? Um, so for sure, Matt, <laughs> sure. um, and Jenny, cause you know, everyone, when they know Matt, they know Jenny. So, yeah. <laughs> um, get a lot of like friendly people that just want to support them and their businesses. So that's, you know, good to know that they're there for good reasons. Um, but also our members like our, we tend to get like pretty close with them and like close enough to where we'll kind of like friendly pick on each other <laughs> yeah if that makes sense That's so cool. <laughs> uh, I kind of give them you know crap for when they don't show up you know for a couple of days or for the weekend I'm like hey where were you you know yeah um so I think kind of having that friendly um kind of relationship with our members really sets the tone for the environment because um like 
I can just tell like when someone is kind of like unsure about it, you know, as they're coming in. But the more I talk to them, the more like other members talk to them. I'm like, hey, just, you know, don't worry about it. You know, everyone's really friendly here. Um, and I see like new people talking and connecting. And that's yeah. really cool. Because I'm like, hey, I've never seen them like talk before. Now they're, you know, talking away for like 15, 20 minutes. That's cool. So, yeah, that's really cool to see is like how you just don't realize like, oh, you guys are friends. And, you know, that just happens like so quickly and so fast. That's awesome. Do you have any stories like in like your personal training or just people that you've seen in the gym of just like crazy inspirational, like, Hey, you know, improving your body like that. But have you ever seen any of that before? Um, yeah, for sure. So, um, not one of my, or I guess she wasn't a client of another trainer. Um, and he doesn't work there anymore, but, um, she, was a double lung transplant. Oh, wow. Yeah. So she like joined the gym, um, you know, after both of those transplants. And um, you can tell she was kind of like really frail, really fragile, Hmm. um, her body at least. Um, So to see like her body change and, you know, I didn't really see that like personally, but people would tell me like, hey, you know, look at her pictures. And she showed me personally like one day of like before she started and then like that day I was like oh my god that's crazy that's the same person (laughs) (laughs) um so seeing yeah just where people like come from um it's you know really awesome to see I'm trying to think if there's anyone else um she's really like the only one I can think of right now cool that's awesome yeah there's a (laughs) the chieftain actually wrote about it and we have a um a metal plaque of it in the gym, if you ever like, if you ever go there, <laughs> yeah. And uh, to the cardio side, you'll see it. It's all about her, um, and then working with that other trainer that used to work at Snap. That's amazing. Can you mm-hmm. kind of talk to me about like what's the first steps at starting at Snap if you're gonna get involved there? Oh, like if you're like wanting a job. Yeah. There? Oh okay. no, no. If you're uh, if you're wanting to start working out there. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I would say the first step would be to either call in, or honestly, I would just come in for a tour mm-hmm. because, um, I think like as soon as you see the facility, you're like, oh, okay. You know, you kind of see like all of the amenities and you know all, just really how pretty it looks because honestly like sometimes I walk like especially when it's clean I look at that place and I'm like oh my god this place is so pretty (laughs) (laughs) um so just seeing it you know putting seeing everything live um and then as we kind of go through the tour we kind of talk about everything that's offered so um like just to give you a quick list tanning is included in your pricing um child watch is included for two children um you also get your fitness consultation we offer um, heart rate monitors that sync up to our facility every time you walk in. Um, let's see. They sync up to the facility. Can you explain that for a sec? Yeah. Um, so it's a um, heart rate monitor that you wear on a belt and you strap it um, on your skin right above your sternum mm. on your chest. And as soon as you walk into the facility, we have TVs throughout the facility that... Um, have your tile so let's you you know you walk into the gym that's cool it pops up there with your name and um if you're just starting out like if you're just walking in you're obviously not like working very hard (laughs) sure so your percentage is probably low but if you're doing something that's super intense um like running sprinting it should be like 80 percent 90 percent so and you can see everybody else's on there as well yeah you just don't know like who they are (laughs) sure (laughs) so that's kind of cool too like a lot of people that a lot of our members who are competitive with that because we do competitions to win prizes and stuff yeah um so there's a leaderboard that pops up on the tv and some people are like you know dead set on being like top 10 or top five or even holding that first place yeah so like you'll see sometimes like the same people you know holding down their spot but then some people come in and they look at it and they're like, oh, angry's beating me. And I'm like, oh, sorry. It's like I can beat that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So anything else you want to talk about while we're here about us now? Um, I can't think of anything else. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. I appreciate you. Yeah. I appreciate you for having me. Absolutely. So definitely go check out Snap Fitness. Go check out all the great things they're doing. Go get a tour. Go talk to Nicole. She'll help get you figured out and start that fitness journey right over there at Snap Fitness. Thank you guys so much for listening. Snap Fitness over there. Do you remember the address? 
279 South Purcell Boulevard. 279 South Purcell Boulevard. Awesome. Go check them out. They're right over there by Snooze Mattress Company. Thank you guys so much for listening. This has been the Snap Fitness Show for Ben Kaysen and Nicole Arguello. Have a great rest of your day.